Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Welcome back to my time bench.、Um, today, I'm going to try what I call coming out a PT. PT stands for、uh, pheasant tail. And then、um, this is another pattern of mine、uh, that incorporates,、um, you know,、uh, the, the typical of、uh, pheasant tail, you know, tail and then the,、um, abdomen. Then,、uh, But、uh, you know, we,、uh, Dan's just about coming out of the、uh, nymph shack. And then、uh, wings are still folded, but、uh, coming out of, out of the thorax. And、uh, legs are also sticking out. And then、uh, this should be fished as dry fly.、Uh, what should I say? I, I think I can say uh, uh, just in the surface. But、uh, this wing and part of legs are just sticking out. That's the idea of this.、Uh, Uh, pattern and then this is size 16, 16 and 18 should uh, imitate um, uh, PMD pale morning done, then、uh, tied in a bit smaller sizes 18, 20, 22、uh, with kind of darker thread, dark olive thread and body abdomen that would be、uh, that should uh, imitate uh, brewing, you know, babies. So、uh, with that. This time, I think it's perhaps the first time I'm going to do a little shortcut. I already made a, a, a pheasant tail a abdomen and the tail, you know,、uh, pick, pluck out several fibers and the wrap, and then、uh, counter wrap with、uh, wire. So, next procedure is to tie in. Uh, a pair of CDC fe feathers. This is like a, not if that is a match, but it、uh, doesn't really matter as long as it、um, uh, just a、uh, even tip. Then Make sure it doesn't pull off. And then、uh, I moved my thread backward right against the uh, uh, PT, PT body. Then I'm going to apply s u p e r f i n d e r PMD for、uh, thorax, which is, which is very short for this. Short and quick, I would say, for this、uh, pattern. And、uh, here we go. Then, okay, now I'm going to fold over this.、Um, I, I, I picked up two at the same time and then、uh, uh, fold over, but make a little loop here. Like that. And you can adjust.、Um, Size of the loop. I'd say、uh, it's really up to you know uh, uh, what you want, but I'd say a bit shorter than this, you know, bend a bit shorter than this abdomen. In my case, see, I can see the、uh, you know, fast ribbing,、uh, you know, shorter than this uh, uh, fast ribbing, and then I would pick up. I pick up this waist end and then、uh, make a one wrap in front of it before I cut it. So now I'm going to progress on it. Okay, I'm going to wrap. So I'm gonna have a nice head at the end. Okay, now I moved my thread backward. Right against the thorax, then the last material would be this uh, 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 partridge. And I'm,、uh, you know, how many legs、uh, do mayfly mayflies have? I think it's about six. So this is more than six, but then again, just a, just a tiny bit is, you know. Plenty enough.
I want my legs just right along the uh, uh, very low end of uh, like that. And uh, just just right along, right parallel to the uh, um, um, basically the hook hook shank. So I think this is um, acceptable. Yeah, make one more time, secure that, and then I trim. one side at a time then wrap all the butts of course without clogging the uh, hook eye We finish and then uh, trimmed. So this is the uh, coming out um, PT, and then apply good uh, CDC oil only on here. This uh, wing bud, folded wing. Then uh, Fisher's dry fly. This should be very visible. Of course, it de it can it depends on the uh, light condition, but uh, uh, so this should be really good. And then I uh, see very good PD, 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 pheasant tail silhouette, and then uh, some, you know, legs, nice thorax and the head coming out from PT. So, uh, so this should work. And then, uh, well, thank you for watching.